Chicago this weekend. CBS2, proud sponsor of the event again this year. So all week long, we're showcasing the people and the pets that make this event so special and so fun to be at. Joining us now is International Kennel Club board member, Teresa Nesbitt. Good morning, Teresa. Thanks for joining us. Hi, how are y'all today? Doing well. Mm -hmm. Glad to be talking about this because we have so many breeds that we see when we go to the dog show. What are some of the most mm. unique breeds and visitors can expect this weekend? Well, there is a lot of what we call low entry breeds where they are so rare right now. We're only having hundreds bred a year at top. So you'll see a lot of different kinds of terriers and sporting dogs and dogs that are now can make very good companion dogs, but started off by being uh, doing very specific jobs in their country or with the particular work they did. Looking at some great photos with you and some of your pooches. You've talked in the past about how breeds have evolved or repurposed over time. Can you talk a little bit about that and how have you seen breeds change throughout the year? It's hard to keep up with all of them right now. Well, um, I think like you can start with a, a really popular breed like golden retrievers. Retrievers are hunting dogs and they were bred to hunt beside their people. So they make great family and companion dogs because they want to come and back be beside their people. And the golden retrievers were also bred to be very amiable. So if you had company come over and things like that, you could hand off the golden retrievers and they're just friendly to everyone. So that's why they make such great family pets. Well, we know because there are so many breeds out there, it can be overwhelming to find the best fit for your home, for your family. So what are some ways that families can figure out what breed is best for their lifestyle? Well, it's a lot like dating is we tend to <laughs> like what we see that we like, but it's a nice thing that we have so much predictability predictability about these breeds. So you can learn if their energy level and their habits and their needs fit with your lifestyle. <laughs> so you gotta, That's a good analogy. Yeah, you got to make sure the personality fits. Oh, he's so cute. Speed dating doesn't necessarily <laughs> work that well in dogs either. The wonderful thing about understanding and learning about these breeds is it does give you a little time to find something that could be just the right fit for you. It's a great opportunity for people interested in becoming pet owners. Uh, what's your favorite breed? Well, I I guess my favorite breed is the breed that I breed, which is Glen of Amal Terriers, a very rare breed from Ireland. They've been around for a very long time, but they're more recently discovered. People haven't seen very much of them. They're a dwarf dog, so they're like a corgi or a basset hound. Big dog on short legs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, Teresa, we know that you can see so many rare breeds mm -hmm. at the Chicago Dog Show, the Great American Dog Show. It's amazing. Teresa Nesbitt, International Kennel Club board member, thanks for joining us this morning. My pleasure. Can't wait to see you all there. Bye. See you soon. Looking forward to it. The Great American Dog Show kicks off on Friday. Tickets are still available. There'll be demonstrations, of course, the competitions, and much more in person at McCormick Place. You can see it there as well as streaming on CBSChicago.com. So fun. Mm -hmm. It's such a fun event every year. I'm glad that we get to showcase a little bit about the people behind it because they're just so knowledgeable about the breeds and about what's best for our family. That's what I was thinking about too. Like yeah. that's such a nice thing to think about too and have the experts there and be like, mm -hmm. what's a good fit for me and my family moving forward? Because yeah. um, like, it is a big decision. Yeah. It is. Or you my can husband learn the hard wants way. to get a second dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>